Hey, you shouldn't be back here. Can't help you there. I've just hired a new assistant, and they should be starting today. Assuming they show up for work. I don't know what the delay is all about, but I hope they remember to pick up their uniform from the general store. I've had it reserved all week. Of course it matters. Cooking's a messy business, and you need to look the part. I just hope they get here soon. I'm rushed off my feet as it is. As soon as they arrive, I'm going on my break. Because it's the rules, that's why. Customers stay out front, where they can't mess everything up. Oh, um, right. Well, I guess you can look around. But don't touch anything. I'm trying to work on a signature dish. I want something fiery and hearty. Tough, yet tender. Just like the legend of Monkey Island himself. Too bad I'm still missing one of the ingredients. Meat stew. When I can find the time to spice the meat, chop the veg, and add the special ingredient like I was told. Sure enough, the lady from the mojo shop stopped by before the governor's guards closed her down with a box of root beer sprinkles. She told me to add them to the grog and anything I cooked to provide us all protection against insidious supernatural threats or something. Don't know why, but I hate to see good grub go to waste and they don't taste half bad, so into the cooking pot with them. Yeah, in the barrel. But don't think you can just go helping yourself. It's the expensive, extra strong governor's special reserve. I got a batch of it in stock in case the legend of Monkey Island ever stops by for a drink. Think of all the tourists he'd attract. But you need a strong stomach for the stuff, or he'll be out cold before long. Anyway, forget about all that, and don't touch anything. That's for kitchen staff only. Ahoy there, fancy pants. Now that's a special order. Some kind of cook uniform for the scum bar. Probably just a big apron and a silly hat, I expect, but I want rid of it. Are you buying?
Let me guess. Another pirate wannabe looking for easy answers. Well, let me tell you something. We love pirate wannabes looking for easy answers. <laughs> I highly doubt it. The governor hired a man to wind the mechanism, but most days he falls asleep in the scum bar and forgets. He's going to lose the clock tower key one of these days, and then, well, I suppose not much will actually change around here. It's always grog o'clock. What business do you have with us now? Speak up and be quick about it! Joining the devil for supper. Leave me be. I'm too thirsty for small talk.
Let me guess. Another pirate wannabe? Ah, night owl, eh? Well, the general store's a little ways down the high street, but the storekeeper charges a pretty penny for his wares. Well then, here's a little tip from me to you. Pirates can't help but squirrel away their spare change. It's sort of what you might call one of those compulsive reflexes. You should check all the crates and barrels you find. You never know when you'll stumble upon someone else's pieces of eight. <laughs> of course we are! Salty old pirates through and through. But on Melee Island, that's to be expected. Most folks don't bat an eyelid at day-to-day -day skullduggery and the occasional keel hauling. Now, the really rotten apples, they get taken to the town jail. <laughs> that old place has seen better days, though. I'm amazed the walls haven't collapsed. They say the governor hired someone to fix up the place. Last time I saw him, he was having an argument with the guards. Some kind of pay dispute. They didn't want to. Eventually, they dragged him away and there was a ruckus. Lots of screaming and falling and such like. The poor sap never even got to pack away his tools. You lost? Well, then you come to the right pirates. We know pretty much everything that happens here on Melee Island. At this time of night? Well, probably the only place with an open kitchen would be the scum bar. But good luck getting inside. The chef's a real stickler for the rules. If you're not the new assistant cook he's hired, you aren't getting anywhere near the cooking pot. Well, you could try begging a gunpowder gummy off of one of the governor's guards, but it might be the last thing you ever chew. <laughs> Ah, up by the island lookout, no question. There's a pathway that leads to him just outside of the village. If the weather weren't so strange lately, you'd be able to see all the way across the island. Not much reason to head up there, though. Unless you're planning to swindle a few pieces of eight out of the lookout. Yeah, then you're in luck. A ship full of valuables went down in the harbor here not so long ago. Of course, even if you could find a way to raise its cargo up out of the water, you'd need the proper tools to crack it open. Some parts of the town are still being renovated. Who knows? Maybe you can swipe what you need.
Yikes! Don't sneak up on me like that. My job, that's what. I'm the official lookout of Melee Island, appointed by Governor Squinky Thriftweed himself. It's my job to keep an eye out for storms, incoming ships, and so on, and report them directly to the governor. <laughs> well, usually it's guards nowadays. Your ship. No offense, but that's barely a rowboat compared to the sort of ships made famous by the legend of Monkey Island. Ha! <laughs> Your ship. The Sea Monkey. Well, now, that was a ship worth talking about. A fearless crew, a gallant captain, and the largest cereal supply you've ever seen. Eh, I don't so much care for chatting with the folks in town. Most of them just sit around telling tales about the legend of Monkey Island. I just as soon tend them a fire and stay out of trouble. But if you're looking for excitement, you should stop by the Scum Bar if you haven't. Here's a little free advice, though, chum. Stay out of the way of the governor's guards. Now, 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 I know they may seem harmless, but... Nope, I don't trust them. Not one bit. You what? A ship, you say? Ooh, this could be serious. Now, are you sure you saw a ship out there? Hey, hey, get your sticky fingers off my money. Don't think I don't see you. Yikes! Don't s you what? A ship, you say? Ooh, this could be serious. Is that a sh oh no, no, that's a seagull.
Ahoy there, fancy pants. your own snacks, you thieving pirate wannabe. Those will burn a hole in your tongue. Ahoy there, fancy pants. Ahoy there, fancy pants. Ahoy there, fancy pants.
Oh, so you finally decided to show up, huh? Well, you can make yourself useful and start on the meat stew. The recipe's on the table. I'm going on my break. Don't let the customers touch anything, especially not the grog.
told you not to start trouble! Get back in your cage! Dummies for the Are you a visitor? It's been so long. Bother me right now. I would be. Ahoy there, fancy pants.
Hey now, supplies of the Legend of Monkey Island figurine set are still limited. So there's a long waiting list, and your name is not even on it. Hands off. Gold's no good to me. If you want to buy something, you... Business to you half with us now. Speak. I am Murray, the demonic talking skull. All oh, pirates hear my name and tremble. Ha! Pay no attention to that blowhard. He left his marauding days behind, along with his body. At least I can remember my own name, not like some other skulls I could mention. And one day I shall return to the waves to unleash a new reign of chaos. Sure you will. But for now, we provide what you might call the in-house entertainment. Telling jokes, hurling vile insults at pirate wannabes, and enthralling folks with tales of skullduggery and misdeeds. I'm just here for the insults. You stink, ugly. <laughs> We're still workshopping some of our material. I am no mere decoration. We are the esteemed Skulls of Scum, stars of the most disreputable tavern on Melee Island. Aye, this be a place so foul, even the roaches have to hold their breath. The floorboards are rotten, the tankards are rusty. And half the customers will run you through just for the fun of it. What's not to enjoy? In all my centuries, I've never found a better place to hang my head. Excuse me. I've got something in my eye hole. Oh, don't you dare start blubbering. You can be so embarrassing sometimes. Well, maybe that holds true somewhere like the Sea of Thieves. But pirates in these parts hold themselves to a different standard. Time was, you could earn the approval of the pirate leaders here by completing their three trials. But that was then, and this is now. The only way they'll respect you is if the governor himself declares you to be a worthy pirate. Ha ha ha! Good luck with that. Three points not set foot out of that mansion for almost a year. His guards keep things running smoothly. Of course. What could happen to the legend of Monkey Island? If you ask me, he and his missus are off on some grand adventure. And if you ask me, Threepwood's gotten himself locked in a closet somewhere. And good riddance. Just ignore him. If anyone knows how to meet the governor, it'll be that set of salty sea dogs over yonder. If you've yet to do so, you should go and say hello. What be ye wanting? What's the matter? You got seawater in your ears? Let me spell it out for you. Governor Threepwood is our legend of Monkey Island. He's been everywhere, seen it all, and stolen most of it. Adventures the rest of us can only dream of. The only way you'd be considered a true pirate is if the governor himself declared you to be worthy of following in his footsteps. Ah, 
Oh, you think so? You can't just stroll up to the governor's door and challenge him to a spitting contest, you know. But there is one way. A man in town can be your ticket to an audience with the governor, but his help surely won't come cheap. I assume you mean pieces of eight? That's the currency we trade in here on Melee Island, not gold or other such nonsense. The cook could have been persuaded to take you on, but he's already hired himself a new assistant, so you're out of luck there. Well, I'm sure if you keep your eyes peeled, you'll spot a few stray pieces of eight lying around that nobody will miss. Of course, a real pirate would notice more nefarious opportunities to fill their pockets. Back again? You're persistent, I'll give you that.
भाई आई 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 You mean the latest masterpiece of fantasy storytelling from Lucasfilm's Brian Moriarty? Why, it's an extraordinary adventure with an interface of magic, stunning high-resolution 3D landscapes, sophisticated score, and musical effects. Not to mention the detailed animation and special effects, elegant point-and-click control of characters, objects, and magic spells. Beat the rush. Go out and buy Loom today. Sorry, but on some topics I just get carried away. <laughs> I. Leave me be. I'm too thirsty for small talk. Try that again, and you'll be joining the devil for supper. Try that again, and you'll be joining the devil for supper. Where's that blasted cook? My crew and I are parched drier in Boulder Beach. Think so, stranger. You say all these daft map shop no more, and that means it's off. And since I don't see no uniform, and you also look like you're alive, I'm. Wait just a second. By order of the governor, that means this. And where do you think you're going?
Keep your hands off the display cases. I just... Well, all my wares are right here. You don't... And before you ask... 